members of the Ilo clan, uh, thank you very much for the invitation to join you this evening and uh, the opportunity to say a few words. Uh, I recall having to speak to Jude after the tragic loss of Natasha. And of course, I was uh, at a complete loss for words. I just couldn't imagine how he, or even for that matter, Nkem could cope. But five years later, they've, bo they've both done uh, the truly remarkable. They've converted uh, terrible grief to a civic gift. By establishing this foundation, they have said that adversity must not be drowned in self-pity and sorrow. It can become a channel to bless uh, the living, to make life easier for some others, especially children living in the most challenging circumstances. But Jude gives even more, uh, more of himself by writing Cassie, uh, a book of poems in which he gives expression to the pain and anguish of deep loss. To memorialize Natasha, but also in the hope that others going through the deep pain of loss may find some comfort, some solace, hope, or perhaps even inspiration. Or even just to be reassured, as Chica, the, the reviewer said, that it is okay to grieve, to grieve even for a man to cry. I'm immensely proud of my friend and brother Jude, uh, a man who has devoted most of his adult life so far to seeking creative and sustainable ideas, to resolving the physical and the subliminal development challenges facing our country and continent. And in Kem also, who has devoted her enormous talents to improving public service delivery in Nigeria through her work in public procurement reforms. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you both and the entire family continually. And may the Natasha Elo Foundation and, and Cassie the Book of Poems, and of course Natasha's memory be a blessing for generations. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>